Nearly 130 years ago, this famous riverside in Chongqing Nan'an district became the place to be for overseas merchants in southwest China, and has stood witness to the development of Chongqing since the first customs house was established in 1891, marking the point in history when Chongqing opened to foreign trade. The side-catching cluster of buildings is the Chongqing Opening Port Heritage Park, which dates back to the year 1896, where the English merchant Archibald John Little relocated his trade business to this location. Now the whole complex has been renovated, such as the original mansion and the warehouse over there. And there are also many fun visitor experiences, such as the food street and youth culture space. Let's go check them out. The Chongqing's Opening Port History Museum used to be the warehouse of Little & Co. It has three floors detailing the history behind foreign trade in Chongqing. The exhibits feature more than 300 artefacts and documents from the era. This wooden model shows us what the Li Chuan once looked like. This was the first steamship to ever sail into Chongqing, and Archibald Little was one of the merchants on board that day. Archibald John Little was a merchant and businessman from Manchester, England. He first sailed to China in 1859 as a tea connoisseur for a German company. Then almost three decades later, Archibald Little opened the era of steamship navigation on the Upper Yangtze, when he ultimately set foot in Chongqing on the 9th of March 1898 aboard the Li Chuan. This bright red structure is the former site of Little & Co. It has retained its blend of Chinese and Western architectural features, such as the sloping roof with double eaves, gilded partitions and railings carved in a dragon theme, which go with a Western-style chimney, large window frames and this stone fireplace. The exhibition hall inside displays a collection of items dating from the era. Li Dele, he in Chongqing opened the first bank in Li Dele Bank. He also opened Li Chuan Bank Company, set up a personal bank account, and published the first bank bill in Chongqing. He also built the Li Chuan Bank in 1896, and also opened the Zhu Zhong Bank. The restoration of this whole site took around three years to complete. Finally, the site was opened to the public on a trial basis in May this year. We have 70 meters of the whole site. 因为我们整个设计理念是依山而建，顺应山体，就是顺应自然。我们没有进行大的开挖，然后很多地方都是靠人工来解决这这样的事情。我们在找到那个老窑进行烧制，但是这个老窑烧制的过程中呢，就非常难了。好，我们也可以看到，就是它的每一块其实它是不一样的，因为它有那种手工感。Back in the day, it must have been a big culture shock for the foreign merchants here. So to make them feel at home, a group of British people built this sailor lounge for high-ranking officials and merchants. Although it only has 112 square metres of floor space, the wooden furnishings, drinks bar and artwork kind of take me back to England even today. You know, there's far more to the Chongqing's opening port heritage park than just admiring the architecture, exhibits and scenery. They've also created their own line of innovative cultural products, such as this jasmine hawk tea, which is very refreshing, and also these ice creams I love that have a traditional lion design. They come in sea salt and lemon flavour and also black cheese, so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into these. We are now at the very top level and we can see that they've opened a consumer street and there are outlets that serve all kinds of things like local delicacies and even retro products over there. So it just happens that one of my favourite snacks is called Yul Cha, which is a kind of thick and savoury porridge. So let's go inside and give it a try. All the snacks have tasty Chongqing flavours and go perfectly with a short rest bite. Now this is something visitors might not expect to see. This place is called the Inwood Skate Park and it has panoramic views over the river down there. Now although I'm not that great at skateboarding myself, it does show how they've incorporated innovative experiences to attract younger generations into the youth culture space here. This building is the Chengdu Chongqing Cultural Innovation Hall, but it's really like a souvenir shop at the Heritage Park. 
And here there are lots of items that catch my eye. For example, there's this container here, which is themed on that mask from Sanxing Dui. Then if we come over here, there are some more things I like. You know, I'm a very practical kind of guy, so things like flasks I really like. And then also these bags over here are pretty nice. I mean, I'm not sure I would use one myself, but maybe as a gift for my daughter or my wife, you know, this would be very nice. This park has added vitality to the Two Rivers and Four Banks area in Nanjing Road, whilst also bringing the history of Chongqing, opening up to the world, back to life. Next time you're in town, you should definitely come and experience this new cultural hotspot, which combines heritage and modernity. I'm James, and I'll see you again soon.